What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Surprise! Nurse Raymond is back with another vlog for you guys and we are going to start a new series in this channel and I'm gonna call it Top 10. If you can remember guys, I posted in my Facebook page about what content you want me to discuss or to do and I want to thank those people who responded to that post and because of that, we are going to make a shout out first, okay? Hello, kay Kelvin Basquiel, hi bro! Kay Menchi Romero Di Maano, kay Kla Rose, Mary Kianco, owner of Sensei Korg and also Philo Clinic, hello kay Cindy Mendoza, Maurice Osano, Kathy Doc, my photographer friend, hello. Kay Dr. Lahato from the Philippines. Dazia Lazado, hello. Kay Jamlin from Tipperary, kumusta? Kay Noel Baradi, hello. Kay Chiki Santos Bernal, hello. Kay Sed Ang, hi Sed. Jolinda Nunez, hello Nunez family. Jan Patricia, my wife's cousin in the States. Marge Dump, my sister. And Dave Beltrano. Once again, thank you so much for responding to that post. And because of that, I thought of starting a new series. We will call it Top 10. Yes, Top 10 things that you need to know here in Ireland. And because most of my audience here are nurses or healthcare professionals, I thought of starting this series with Top 10 common words, phrases, and of course, sentences that you hear usually in a healthcare setting. Before I start guys, as you can see, it's very windy and still very cold. It's roughly about 12 degrees Celsius at the moment. Spring has started, but still very, very chilly. Anyway, we are just so excited for summer to come. Come on, son! Just a disclaimer, guys. I'm not going to discuss the common Irish slangs, but rather I'm going to discuss about the top 10 common words, phrase, or sentences that you will surely hear in a healthcare setting. Here in Ireland, guys, being a nurse or healthcare professional, it is very important that you know how to convey a message to your patient, especially describing things to them in a layman's terms. For our top 10 guys, the word dirty. You will always use this word, guys, especially if you are working in an ICU or in a respiratory ward wherein you have to describe the sputum. Dirty means purulent or mucopurulent secretions. It means the color is brown, dark green, or what have you. For Slovenians, it's not clear. It is dirty. Top 9, the word bug. Yes, you heard me right, guys, but I'm not referring to an insect but rather a microorganism. You will always hear this word, guys, especially if you are going to start an antibiotic and you want to explain to the patient that this antibiotic will treat the bug in their system or the microorganism in their system. Also, if you are going to take cultures from them, you have to explain to them that you wanted to check if there's any bug that is cooking in their body. That is, bug. The phrase, work away. Or sometimes you can mistakenly hear this as walk away. Someone is not pushing you away, but rather letting you to do your stuff, just walk away. Work your way out. Come on, do your stuff, walk away. For our top seven guys, I bet you will hear this a lot of times in a healthcare setting. This is the question or the sentence, are you happy? Yes, you will hear this definitely. And they are not asking about your emotion, so please don't be carried away. Whatever you're dealing with, they're not asking about it, okay? They're asking about how confident you are or if you are confident enough or you have the skill set to do a certain procedure. For example, your staff development facilitator will ask you, are you happy to take blood samples? Are you happy to take vital signs of the patient? So it only means that if you know how to do it or if you are confident enough to do so, okay? Moving on to top six, guys, the word water tablets. Yes, water tablets. It sounds odd, but you know what? This is not something, this is not a pill that you give to the patient to keep them hydrated, but rather, we are referring to a diuretic tablet. Most people here in Ireland knows about water tablets, especially the patients, so please use them if you get a chance, okay? Water tablets. <laughs> Since we're talking about water tablets, let's move on to top five, which is the word water. Yes, water. I'm not talking about sparkling water, purified water, but rather 
a urine. Water is an informal way of referring to a urine, okay? So you can use this as like, Mr. X, have you passed water? Moving on to top four guys, bowels opens. The first time I heard this, I was thinking whether the nurse is asking me for a laparotomy patient, but no, he is referring to poop. Like, poop. This is wildly used guys in a healthcare setting, especially if you're asking your patient if they open their bowel already or if they poop because the word defecation and most patients will not understand that. So, bowels open refers to poop. For our top three, temperature. Now, this is something very confusing the first time I heard this. Yes, we know what temperature means when my manager asked me if my patient has temperature. I told her, yes, 36.5. But you know what? She's asking if my patient has a fever. Yes, guys. So if someone is telling you that the patient has a temperature or a spike of temperature, they're telling you that the patient has a fever. That is temperature. For our top two guys, the word handover or report. I know if you are a Filipino, we always use the word endorsement, but here it is seldom used and instead we are using the word handover or report. Telling the time here in Ireland. It is very confusing the first time guys, I betcha. So for example, if you want to say 10.30, you will say half 10. If you're going to say 10.15, you will say quarter past 15. That's it. It's kind of confusing the first time, but you know what? It's fun to do it, okay? That's how you tell the time here in Ireland. So that's about it, guys. That's our top 10 common words, phrases, or sentences that you will usually hear in a healthcare settings. I hope you enjoyed this video because I really did enjoy doing this one. And please watch out for more top 10 in this new series in my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And please follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!